Hello, you two, my blue souls. It's your welcome to an advanced war for you. And today, I'm going to be talking about a controversial topic, sort of, on PC. This is this has nothing to do with console players. Well, it does a little bit, but before we get started, um, I would like to say I do have a cold. That's why I sound a bit nasally and stuff like that. So please spare me as I'm trying to recover from the cold, which I hate. And the other thing is I'm using a blunderbuss culverin with only a um, quick draw and as my side I'm using the PDW Crusher. Right, so that now that the intro is out of the way, let's talk about the topic itself, which is mouse and keyboard versus controller on PC. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to add the PC part to it. Now, I've been playing on a PC for a little over a year now and it's I, I know it's, it hasn't been a long time but I think I understand the gist of it and also I have been a console player for a couple of years I think like at least four years four or five years so I I think I know both sides of the argument and um, I honestly feel like I should address this now if you are using a controller on PC, especially COD, you're going to be hated on a lot. People are going to call you a hacker, they're going to say if you want to play with the controller, go back to consoles, and um, you know, stuff like that. Just like mean words and it just doesn't justify anything. First of all, if you have a mouse and keyboard, let's be honest here, we all know that it's the better, I guess, it's superior when it comes to accuracy now i'm not saying it's completely superior to controllers no, that's not what i'm saying i'm saying it's easier to control your i guess your aim with a mouse and a key basically a mouse because you know it's just more accurate plus if you have a mouse and if you're using a mouse and a keyboard you just have better reactions that i have noticed that and since i've played with both I know for a fact that you have better reaction times and you have more customizability. You you can get different kind of keyboards. Granted it's expensive, but you get different kind of keyboards, you can get different kinds of mouse, mice, not mouse, mice, different sensitivity. You can go from like eight hundred DPI to sixteen thousand, which is crazy. And I think I play on one of the higher since uh, the DPIs, 1,600 DPI, so yeah, there's a lot of customizability, it looks nicer and stuff like that. Now, see, on the other hand, what I'm trying to say is, yes, controller only has one to two good things if you're playing, if you're using control on a PC. Now that's, you just have a more relaxed gameplay. And I can tell you that for sh like for, for a fact, and it's just more suited for casual gameplay on PC. Of course, like everything I'm talking about is on PC and not has nothing to do with the console itself. So just keep that in mind. The the controller also has a pretty big disadvantage. Actually, a couple of big disadvantages. Uh, one of them would be you're basically literally putting yourself at a disadvantage disadvantage when you're playing against PC players because well um, it's it's PC so half of the people are using a mouse and a keyboard and as we all know mouse like I said before has better like more better reaction time so if you're in a controller you're slower let's be honest like in movement wise the max sensitivity you can go is 20 and let's be, um, it's not as fast as, fast as even 800 dpi which is quite slow but yeah you will be beaten by a mouse and keyboard almost all the time so it's less accurate slower reaction times and even like I said before slower turn times because you don't have a mouse and keyboard it's harder to use basically now most people also say a lot of people on PC say that aim assist for controls is just a hack and I don't see why yes it helps you track targets uh, and um, in my opinion you sort of need that for PC if you're using controller because 
controller is not very accurate and you need it trust me i've played without aim assist and it screws you up so you need aim assist because it it just makes your life so much easier when you're using controller and it's not a hack because well i've played against hackers they cannot turn faster than a normal human can like a controller i've used both like i said before it, it does not turn as fast as my hacker montage that i uploaded links in the description somewhere but um yeah you cannot just snap on target even like just do a 180 snap on target get a headshot and then turn around get another headshot it, it's just not happening yes controller does help you it's in my opinion it's sticky aim that's what most people call it sticky aim is not the same thing as aimbot honestly yes they do have some advantage mostly when it's in a dark room and when you get that aim assist pull yes that i will agree to that i have gotten a lot of kills on consoles mind you but i have gotten a lot of kills when i didn't know that guy was there but my aim assist did and it pulled me towards the guy so i shot and i got a kill that's one advantage in the gameplay wise other than that like the relaxed gameplay and stuff like that I completely agree with like it's just re more relaxy I, I like I said I was I'm sick and um, I didn't want to get up to my desktop uh, like my table connect every like connect my mouse keyboard to my laptop and start pl start playing on like a chair and stuff I was extremely tired so what I did I since I have a laptop I connected my lap put it in charge and put it in my bed connected my controller and started playing and honestly I did feel that it's a it's a lot harder to play with the controller most some people might agree some might some a lot of people might disagree that it's harder to play on a mouse and a keyboard especially those console player but in in my opinion COD Advanced Warfare if you don't have a scuff or anything it's a little bit harder to play especially like I haven't played with a mouse like a controller for like four months so my aim is completely off so that's that it's and especially going against pc players oh man you're not going to have a good time you miss your shots you miss like your first two bullets you're screwed you're gonna you're going to be turned on instantly so i don't see why people say that aim assist is a hack i i honestly don't plus why do you care if someone is using a controller if they manage to kill you, you should actually feel kind of sad. Well, you know what I mean. It's they have they're putting in, they have a bigger disadvantage, and you still manage to lose a gunfight. Now, if they kill you from behind and stuff like that, that's completely acceptable. And honestly, some people are really good with mouse and a keyboard. I mean, controller. I'll give them that. But if you lose a like face-to-face -face gunfight. Uh, that's kind of your fault. First of all, learn how to aim. Second of all, I don't know how you lost. <laughs> like, it's as simple as that. Like I said before, some people are really good with the con uh, controller. So, in my opinion, guys who say that, you know, you should not use a controller, honestly, give it a try. Give controllers a try. Play without aim assist and see how hard it is for you to kill people with it. Like trust me, it's pretty hard. Second of all, just give it a try. Heck, you might as well you might even like using a controller. Look, let's be honest here. Some people on cons like PC can't aim with a mouse. It's kinda of disturbing, but it's pretty bad. So you guys might you wanna use a controller, get better with it. A lot of people are good with the controller. So other than that other than that guys, let me know if I miss something. If you guys are on a console, let me know if I miss something. I honestly feel like I covered the basics. And if you guys wanna like if you want to if you guys want to see more topic videos please do let me know also subscribe if you guys have enjoyed the video and that guys i'll see you next time bye bye <coughs> okay i'm not doing that until i get rid of my cold that hurt oh bye bye guys ouch